To use the full potential of Excel, you have to learn VBA. After becoming an expert in VBA, you can develop various software in Excel. Hi, welcome to Excel in Life. This is the fourth episode of VBA tutorial, where you will learn how to develop text tools software. Topics covered in this episode. For each next loop. Do while loop. Do until loop. For each next loops allow you to cycle through all the objects in a group, such as cells in a range. For each loop is similar to for loop, but there is no step counter. Four steps to write for each next loop. 1. Declare a variable for an object. 2. Write the for each line with the variable and collection references. 3. Add lines of code to repeat for each item in the collection. 4. Write the next line to close the loop. It's important to note that, when we loop through a collection of objects, each object is not selected in Excel. Let us see a practical example of for each next loop. We have used similar code in our text tools software, hence, watch it carefully and understand the utilization. We have written some name in lowercase from A1 to A15. Our target is to convert them to uppercase. First declare a variable cell as range object. In for each line, we have given collection reference as range A1 to A15. In code line, we are using Yuka's function to change cell value to uppercase. In episode 2, we have discussed how to write various text functions using VBA. You can watch that video by clicking I button above. Close this loop by entering next cell. Press F8 to debug this code. On first time executing the code, it has converted the frist name in uppercase. After that every repetition of the loop, it is converting the names one after another. Code stops after executing cell A15. And this way we can convert the all text in a given range. Similarly we can convert the same name to lowercase. Let us copy this code and use lcase function. On debug, all the names are getting converted to lowercase. The do while loop is used to repeat a set of code while a specific condition is true. Do while syntax can be written in two ways as shown. Difference of two is the placement of while condition. In the first option, condition will be checked at the start of the loop. The statement inside the loop will execute if the condition is true. In the second option, condition will be checked at the end of the loop. The statement inside the loop or executed at least once, even if the condition is false. Let us use the previous example and apply the do while loop in the code to change name in uppercase. Let us open Visual Basic Editor. Write new sub. Declare i as integer and assign initial value as 1. In the do while condition, it checks cell's value is not blank. Loop will continue till the cell is not empty, that means up to A15. Now we use ucase function to make the name in uppercase. Here we have used i in place of row number. And to get the next cell, we have to increment the value of i. 
press F8 to debug this code. Since first cell is not empty, loop is executed. Since i is increasing in every iteration, our code is changing the case of the cell value one after another. You can see, cell A16 is empty, hence, condition of loop will become false at A16, and execution will end. Hope you understood the use of do while loop. The do until loop is used to repeat a set of code until a specific condition is true. It will execute the statements as long as the conditions are false. As soon as the condition or criteria become true, it terminates the loop. It can be looked as opposite to do while loop. Do until syntax can also be written in two ways like do while loop. Difference of two is the placement of until condition. In the first option, condition will be checked at the start of the loop. The statement inside the loop will execute if the condition is false. In the second option, condition will be checked at the end of the loop. The statement inside the loop are executed at least once, even if the condition is true. To understand better we will use the previous code of do while loop and change these names to lowercase by applying do until loop. Open the Visual Basic Editor. Insert a new module. Rename the module as do until loop. Now copy the previous code to this module. It's important to note that you cannot keep same name for two sub or function. You will get compile error ambiguous name detected. Always give name which is unique for the project. So, we have to rename our sub. Change the while with until. Now most important part. We have to change the not equal to symbol with equal to. Which means until a blank cell detected loop will continue to run. So, it will change case for all names to lay 15. To change lowercase, we have to use lcase function. Press F8 to debug this code. Since first cell is not empty, loop is executed. Since i is increasing in every iteration, our code is changing the case of the cell value one after another. Since cell a16 is empty, our condition is become true, hence, execution of loop will end. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you understood all loops in BBA. If you have any queries, don't forget to write and comment. It is recommended to watch all previous episode of BBA tutorial for better understanding. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel, which will motivate me to bring such wonderful videos in future. In our next episode, we will see how to make this user form. Don't miss the upcoming video. It will be most interesting to learn. Request you to browse Excel in life. Here you will get videos related to Excel function, Excel chart, Excel VBA, healthy lifestyle, meditation and sound therapy. Please support my channel by joining membership program. You will get various parks, which concerts, members only video, personal guidance etc. Till then goodbye.